Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at quality of service, otherwise known as QoS. In particular within QoS we're going to be taking a look at priority queuing. We're going to be taking a look at how to configure priority queuing between two routers, and we're going to be taking a look at its characteristics. We're also going to be doing some debug and show commands to verify our output. Priority queuing is a legacy form of quality of service which allows us to use four queues to classify our traffic into. And the queues are broken down into the normal queue, the low queue, the medium queue, and the high queue. And packets are dequeued in the order of highest to lowest in the priority. So the high queue is always going to have precedence over the lower queues. And this is this can cause traffic starvation on our network. So anything that's matched in the high queue is always going to have priority over every other type of traffic. And so what that means is that if you always have traffic that's utilizing all the bandwidth on a link that's in the high queue, all the other queues are going to be starved of bandwidth because there's no sharing of the bandwidth where we might see other types of QoS features like class-based weighted fare queuing and other forms of quality service. So this can be very a very bad thing in our network if we're not aware of what's going on with priority queuing. And another feature we have to point out here is that priority queuing, when what we do within priority queuing is we will first create a priority list and in the list is where we're going to form form our our put our types of traffic into the four different queues. And then after we create the priority list, we're going to go under the interface in which we want to apply the priority list to. And we're going to apply the priority list to that specified interface with the priority group command. And you can apply the same priority list to multiple interfaces within the same router. Also, within the priority queuing, these commands are processed similar to an ACL, meaning that the entry, if an entry matches higher up within the ACL, it's going to take that match and be processed and done with it. So if you have overlapping types of traffic within your priority list, what you may see is that some of your, you know, some of your traffic on, on some of the other queues will not be processed. And we're going to take a look at this feature, and I'm going to go ahead and break the network for us so that we can see this type of behavior Hopefully I'll be able to implement this. Anyway, I'm going to try to and show you guys this type of behavior within priority queuing. So I'm going to pause the video for one second. I'm going to get the baseline configuration set up here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have the baseline configuration set up, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and let's create two loopback interfaces here. So we'll do loopback 0 on router 1 is 1.1.1.0. Slash 24, and then on router 2, we'll create a loopback 0 of 2.2.2.0 slash 24. We're going to put these loopbacks into our priority list within our priority queue here. Our, I'm sorry, our priority queuing example here. We're going to create a priority list and we're going to match this traffic. So 
So on router 1, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a ACL. We'll just call it, we'll create a, a named extended ACL called R1 to R2. And within this, we're just going to permit all IP traffic from 10. Dot, I'm sorry, 1.1.1.0 1 .1 1 .1 slash 24 wildcard going to and we'll just put in here to make it simple any destination okay so what we're gonna see here is that the implementation